Okay, so I just wanted to do this video before I've figured out how to play this thing a little bit faster. So hopefully this should be fairly easy to follow, I think. So this is Manteo Mancuso Link, Link? Lick, uh, from the tune Time to Leave. There's a video of him playing this live in a garden somewhere in Italy, I presume. Let me just check that. Uh, the International Jazz Day UNESCO Festival. And so this tune, to me, it seems to be going between this. Particularly the solo vamp is going between like an F sharp minor thing and then a G dominant 7 sharp 11 type of thing and so the, the kind of scales that he's generally playing over that G dominant 7 sharp 11 is a D melodic minor and then kind of resolving F sharp minor for the other thing where he's kind of playing F sharp minor pentatonic stuff and A major stuff but there's this little lick that happens in the middle of it which I think is really interesting for a couple of reasons and so I just wanted to show you what's going on so we're going to start up here on the ninth fret on a C sharp so we're very much thinking uh, of this D melodic minor thing and it does something like this, I'll just show you it full speed. So this kind of blew me away. And I'll show you it half speed as well. And I'll show you it 25 speed. So essentially this little lick thing is a sequence which is repeating, although it's not terribly obvious, but part of what's going on with that pattern, what I think sounds so cool to the ear is that it's doing this repeating thing and then kind of cascading up the D melodic minor scale. So, so we're getting this thing happening. So we're going. Then just back down to F sharp minor he tails the lick off really nicely um doing something like that and so anyway the the part that i'm interested in is this first bit so so what's cool about that is kind of two things one it sounds really good and two it helps you to visualize the melodic minor scale in a way that's slightly different to what you might have done already so for me personally, I generally visualize it um, in three note per string patterns. Sometimes I can visualize it in arpeggios. But here's another thing where you're kind of visualizing a bunch of notes on one string set. And then instead of it being the string set immediately beneath, it's a string skip. So here it is slowly. And again. And you could play that with different subdivisions and stuff but for now I'm just going to be trying to play this kind of evenly and get the idea under my fingers rather than just trying to blast through it quickly so C sharp and D on the E string and then we jump up to this B on the D string so and then what we're going to be doing is moving the last note that we played on the D string up one note to the E to the and then the same kind of concept, we play a C sharp, so you get these kind of six. So that's kind of the pattern you have. Two diatonic notes of the melodic minor on the E string, jump up a sixth, then jump up another six. Or you could think about it as playing uh, 
two notes from the three note per string pattern, then one note from the one, two strings beneath, then the third note from the three note per string, and the second on this other string. So five notes. practice that on each individual string set and that last one he kind of doesn't do the same pattern but I think it would be if you continued the pattern but he's kind of finishing off the lick so so anyway what could you do with that? So first of all, you could learn to play that lick and try and play it as fast as possible. You could take that concept and kind of majorize it. So here it is with D major instead of D melodic minor. Something like that. Or you could also try and move it around diatonically in different melodic minor shapes or melodic minor modes, however you want to think about it. So here it is originally again. Actually, I should probably play it slowly for you again. So we start off with this C sharp to D, then a B, then an E, then a C sharp. Then we move down to the A string where we start off on the 8th fret with an F. G, E, then the A, then an F, then we get a B, then a C sharp, all the way up to an A, then a D, B, and then we finish off with a E, F, C sharp, then the F again, then an E. So that's the lick. Um, but again, as I was about to go off before I trailed off, it's not that interesting to me just to copy one lick in one place. So what we could also do is take that whole shape around the melodic minor. And that's what I'll do in the Patreon tab for you if you wanted to try that. But so we'll start here on the D. So we're moving everything up kind of one note shifting it diatonically in the melodic minor scale so on the first string we'd have a d e okay and then we jump up to here and then on the d string we'd get nope So quite difficult to visualize, but you could try doing that. So here it is moved up, starting from the F. Something like that. So this is taking me a long time to figure out what these would be. But as I'm doing it, I can see that it's kind of bringing new clarity to kind of that melodic minor shape and, you know, how the melodic minor exposes itself not like that on the fretboard so that's what i'm going to be doing and trying to find some time to spend some time with that moving it around different keys moving it around the diatonic shapes but hopefully that's interesting to one or two people i'll drop the backing track up on uh, patreon and also the tab which will show you first of all the original lick and then the majorized version of it and then how i move it around and uh, you know it'll give you like a little worksheet to work from but hopefully you can figure it out from this video if you didn't want to support in that way please feel free to like and subscribe and go check out more of Matteo Mancuso's playing if you haven't each time i watch something there's always something that blows me away about his playing and an amazing player obviously and his team won the world cup Catch you in a little bit. Hi, my name's John Cordy, but you probably know me better as Wedding DJ John Flashes. And I wanted to put together a little course for you showing you how you can get more out of your weddings. 
uh, you know, we've all been in this situation, you've got the bride's mother who's over there absolutely gagging for it, you know, she's saying, play some queen, play some queen. Over in the corner, we've got the groom's parents, and they're clearly more into kind of jazz, and uh, it's creating this sort of um, apartheid in the, in the crowd, and that's the last thing you want at a wedding, obviously. So I put together three top tips for how to crash the wedding, how to break down the walls, how to get the people really popping. So it's only £99 to enrol in my wedding DJ course and I think you'll get great value out of it. I'll put together some custom playlists for you. Here's some infield footage showing my results and you know how stuff like this really works in the real world. Okay. So we're here at a wedding and I'm about to drop the other bomb, watch what happens. Every time. Every time. What, what is the reaction? Sends them wild. Watch what happens next. <laughs> Coming to the end of the song, and uh, watch what happens. You know. Uh, when you drop one ABBA bomb, always closely behind follows a second ABBA bomb. We all know that. Ready? Oh, they go wild. Every time. Every time. Know what you're thinking, how can you follow two ABBA bombs? It's S Club. Yeah. <laughs>